Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing out there? It's your girl Twin D. Thank you so so much for stopping by the channel and I'm wishing you guys a wonderful weekend guys. Whatever is left of your weekend or whenever you're watching this, a wonderful wonderful weekend to you. And I hope everyone is doing okay out there. All right? If not, please make sure you are. <laughs> All right, let's jump right in and let's see what's going on for us. This is a 911 emergency. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, let's see what's going on for us, guys. 911 emergency. Father God, what is it? What should we know? What's going on? What is this 911 message about, please? You have the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Someone is broken hearted in a situation that they have been in for a very long time. This person is stressed out. This person is feeling like they want to give up. This person is trying to make some plans so that their heart can be free, so that they can feel love again. This person is trying to balance their emotions with their life. You know, what they want in their life, they're trying to make sure that happens. <laughs> but they're putting in some work here. Some of your Divine Masculines, they may also be um, unhappy. In a job that they're in but there's something that's kind of draining here to your divine masculine you got the ace of cups so like I was saying your divine masculine is they're trying to make sure that things are going smoothly and are okay in their life they are tired of something that has been broke that has been breaking their heart something that's not working there's something that's not working out here and this is in regards to love as well. Your Divine Masculine, it seems like they are just realizing their power. They are just realizing who they are. And now they are going to be making some changes. What else is happening with this 911, please? Yes, yes, yes. They are going to be making some changes. Yin Yang Twin Flame Card Baby. Your Divine Masculines are definitely making changes and these changes involve you. As a matter of fact, you are the end result. Let me fix this. You are the end result, whoever these Masculines are. They are making changes, but it is to come towards you. It is to find this true love. It is to escape from this broken hearted situation that is not working. So you see your divine masculines are healing here. They're going through a healing process to relieve themselves of that broken heart so they can have a new start. Your divine masculines are learning to love themselves here. They're healing. They're healing. There's a lot that they're healing. They're becoming more spiritually connected here. Your Divine Masculines may come in with some sort of a message here to, to you. For some of you guys, there could be this confession of love or um, just them just communicating with you after a period of, uh, of heartbreak, after a period of sadness here, after a period of separation. This may come in towards you um, during the, the, the winter season. Yep, during the winter season. No worry. Because we like to look at time too much. The winter season is just around the corner. Snow is going to start to fall any minute now. <laughs> so your divine masculines are releasing things that no longer serve them. And they are so focused on. It's like growing. Strengthening themselves. Becoming more spiritually in tune. Using their heart. And there you go. The eight of wands. Yeah that message is definitely coming in. Definitely. Your Divine Maskings are kind of in the space of feeling like they're losing you and it's like they don't want that to happen. So they're going to try to either get over this heartbreaking breaking situation or over this person, this job, whatever it is that has been sucking them dry. And they're going to try to move forward here. 
actually they're coming forward these are major changes that are happening for you and your divine masculines spiritual changes you know the ones that nobody can stop that nobody can predict they just happen on a whim like that because God says it's time and it's supposed to happen and that's the way it's gonna be and nobody can change it yeah that 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 way that that way that way <laughs> let's get some more about what these have to say give me more on this three of Pentacles please in regards to this 911 what is this oh Jesus have mercy this is a lot of things this is a lot of things all right let's look at them but I, I'll put them back in you know so you can see what they were in regards to what these masculines have been working on the things that have been causing them heartache pain stress yeah so you see for some it's the separation as well because it's like I, like I said they don't want to lose you they don't want to lose you and it's becoming a burden they don't want to lose you at all so they're trying to make these changes in their life to heal because it's like I, I gotta make myself better before I move towards this person give me more please father God on this three of Pentacles please what is this situation that was causing this heartbreak or what they have been working on here? Oh, darn. The Five of Cups. So, they are missing you. They are feeling tired. They are feeling stressed out. They are tired of not moving towards what their heart desire. They are tired of ignoring their heart. And that's why they're going to start to change spiritually because now they got to use their heart instead of using their, 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 their mind to tell them what they need to do. So they're going to stop hiding their feelings. They're realizing that everything that they were working on, dedicated to pushing towards, thinking that it's going to remain permanent. All the cup was spilled right there. The love is gone. Not, there's nothing left. But the love between, oh Jesus, but the love between you and them, it still remains. It still remains. And they, they don't, they, they, they don't want to miss out. They don't want to miss out. There's an offer of love coming your way, whoever this is. What about this three of swords, please? The seven of cups. So some of your divine masculines are regretting their, their, their choices in the past. They're regretting their decisions in the past. And they, like I said, see? See, all these things they were hanging on to that they expected to last a lifetime, you know, that they expected to, 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 to keep going with whatever. They got disappointed. They got disappointed and shut down. So now they're realizing that I made a mistake. They're seeing their mistakes now. And they're going to try to fix it. That's why they're coming in with this offer. Yes, the Empress. 0808. Now they're coming in with this offer. Because they're seeing, again, that they made this mistake. They made the mistake of not choosing you in the past, of not following their heart in the past. And now they're regretting it. But like I said, they don't want to lose you. The only love they've, they've ever had, the only person that ever loved them. And they're coming towards you. Give me more on this chariot, please. What is this chariot about? What about these divine masculines? What are they moving towards? What's this situation here? They're taking that leap of faith, guys. They're taking that leap of faith. They're trusting and they're moving forward. They're trusting and they're moving forward because they don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose you. They've been struggling a lot. That's their burden, coming to that burden of losing you and they don't want to happen. Yeah, man, I told you. They don't want it to happen. They've been stressed out. They've been tired. They're in their head. Things are not going right. Everything they thought was their plan. They're falling apart. And again, the only thing that remained was the love for you. All those other people, all those other things. They, some of them probably have lost their job. The job that they chose over you. Everything they are losing. But the one person that still remains is you. Some of you divine feminine may have even turned your back on these divine masculines as well. And that's why they're scared of losing you because it's like the one thing, the one person that truly loved me, that I truly love, I turned my back on them and now, now I'm losing everything. But I don't want to lose this person. So they're closing out that cycle. They're healing. They're getting over that. They're healing because they can't get you off their mind. 
They can't get you off their mind. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They can't drink. They can't do anything. So it's like they're going through that dark night of the soul right there because you have cut, either you cut communication or you just block them or something, but your energy, you took your energy away. And you got the sun. You are their happiness. They realize it because they've been thinking about you. You are that happiness in their life. You are that joy, that spark in their life. You, you, you cause them to behave like this child right here and, and you accept them and they, they can be free. They can love themselves. The Ten of Swords. So a new cycle is about to begin because they have been to their last. They have been to that bottom where the only place to go next is up. So right now your Divine Masculines, they're struggling. They're going through this period where they have to learn these lessons. And this cycle is ending. And right after this, it's a period of new beginnings. It's a period of new beginning. Let's see. Give me some truth on this message, please, Father God. Give me some truth on this 911 message, please. Their ego. Their ego is keeping them away. You have anger issues. You are precious to me. You see that? You are precious to me. You're the most precious thing, the most precious person that, that has ever entered my life. And I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. Focus on you. There are changes that are happening. Divine feminines, you see? Focus on you. Because it's because now that you've cut your energy, now these divine masculines can really see what they have been missing. And fear. I need to be alone for a while. They have this fear of losing you. They don't want to lose you. And them, they're very much stressed out here. Let me figure out what's happening. Let me see what's going on. Because now they're realizing that everything they've been investing in, it was just a facade. And there's a commitment coming. Listen to that. Ding, ding, too. There's a commitment coming. Anyways, guys. Congratulations to whoever this is for. And this will definitely come around in the winter season for you guys. Love you all. Like one, like God. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you at your next message. Later. Love you guys. Like one, like God.